Historian Bob Fisher has reported on 15 America's Cups over the past 46 years, many involving a U.S. legend who became known as Mr. America's Cup. The 12 meter era is encapsulated really by Dennis Connor. I mean, he's the man who did more time in 12 meters than anybody else. And certainly he had a string of successes. He also lost the cup in 12 meters, but he regained it. He had some great moments too. The ticker tape parade up Fifth Avenue and the lunch uh, in the White House and all those uh, long days and sleepless nights uh, were pretty easy to forget. He also had moments of utter despair. I shall never forget seeing him coming ashore after he'd lost the cup in 1983. My life came completely apart and I was shattered. No, I wanted to see it in Newport the rest of my life. But he was back on form when he got out to uh, Australia and in Fremantle took the cup back in a dominant manner. Dennis had some very magic moments in press conferences that were all his own. One-liners which he probably regrets having said. Certainly one that he uh, said in Fremantle on the occasion when he accused the uh, Kiwis of cheating by building a boat in glass fibre, which was perfectly allowable. So if you want to build a glass boat, why would you do it? Unless you yeah. wanted to cheat. Whoa. Whoa. I don't think he should have said that, but... I'll take it all back. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think That's you can, Dennis. Say. And he had another one later on when he was sailing a catamaran against the big boat in 1988. I'm sailing a cat. <laughs> Somebody else is sailing a dog. <laughs> Dennis Connor was without doubt Mr. America's Cup. You can't think of 12 meters and America's Cup without thinking of your man there, Dennis Connor.